Hello everyone, it's really good to see you here. So today we are going to solve a GHG problem and also a very important graph problem which is DFS, also known as Def Search. So basically we have to perform DFS traversal in an given connected undirected graph. So this is the question. Now let's dive into its approach part. So what DFS means is that, let's suppose you are, you are here at this node. So once you are here at this node, firstly you have to go depth uh, in any direction in a depth and then again you come back and go till the depth in other direction and so on. So let's suppose we are uh, having zero here. So what we can see now is that let's suppose zero. So we have uh, three connected component to it, which is two, three and one. So what we do, we decide which one is the minimum, we consider it. So firstly, we are at this position 0, then we move towards 1, and then we got 0 and 1 in our answer vector. Again, the gain back to the, like the control was gained back to our this 0 uh, node. And then after that, you can see that 2 is the second uh, smallest, so we traverse in this direction so firstly 2 got appended and after that it also has an element 4 connected to it that's why 4 uh, got appended and after that the control gain back again to the element O and what happened is that now only 3 is left so we traverse 3 and in this way we are actually done with the DFS traversal of our given uh, graph so what we can do is that this is the uh, like series or this is the sequence of elements which we have to push in our vector. So let's dive into its coding part. So what we firstly do is here the answer vector is global. So whatever changes we made anywhere, it's going to be happen, right? So what uh, firstly we are going to do is firstly we are going to make a void DFS function which is going to take the uh, like total number of total number of vertex that are present inside our graph and then the graph itself and then the visited uh, element which is going to check if that particular element is visited or not and s is the starting point so source vertex from where we are going to make our dfs traversal so what firstly we do we just uh, add uh, like we just add that particular node which we are going to traverse because after that we are not going to again uh, like traverse it or again append it in our answer vector. So whenever there is some node which is occur for the very first time, we have to append in our answer vector. So after appending it, we just make our visited as one because that particular uh, like that particular uh, element is visited. So visited is basically let's suppose you have some vector like this which is of size uh, let's suppose uh, size of the vertex and initially each of them is zero so when we are at a zero so you can see that zero index is zero but we found this so what we do we just make it one that is we don't have to visit it again and after that we go uh, once we go at one we mark it as one once we go at two we mark it as one and this goes on so till the point our visited uh, like visited vector is or visited array is uh, like all the element inside it are uh, not visited till that point we have to uh, do this dfs so again we are running a while loop so this is basically to check what are the different connected component to the given uh, vertex uh, s so if that and also like let's suppose x is a connected component so firstly we check that if that x is visited or not so if not visited then we make it visited and then we call dfs to that so here you can see that in this case uh, like this has an a vertex again so what we do we just call a dfs to call, call this function so this function basically return our 4s answer so after that we have to simply like in our given or uh, in a given function dfs of graph what we have to do is we have to make a bool array and in that firstly we initialize it with zero and again we are going to call it uh, call the dfs function which we have in uh, like make here with the initial vertex or source vertex as zero and then at the end we are going to return the answer so let's try to submit this up
So yeah, this is the approach to solve the problem DFS of the graph. And if you want to assess the code, then you can check the GitHub link given in the description. And this is it for this video. But wait, what? Uh, if you reach till this point, I guess subscribing to this channel would be um, a plus to me actually. So do do this and thanks for watching.